a member state. Thank you. Gay. <coughs> well, um, Chairperson, thank you and thank the Commissioner. Um, I don't know whether colleagues realise that the budgetary adjustment in Ireland this year will be 6 billion euro, which is equivalent to about 75 or 80 billion euro in the British budget. And we already did more than twice that in the last two years. We did 15 billion, and this 6 billion is the first tranche of another 15 billion. I don't know if you understand the suffering and the pain that people are going through uh, during this time, including additional tax measures, as the Commissioner has rightly pointed out. Uh, I just want to say that in these circumstances, I think it is very insensitive for our French and German colleagues to look into their hearts and decide for the rest of us what's uh, good uh, for Europe. Thank God for treaties, is what I say. Uh, and um, I wish them well, because I know it might be easy for them to make these derisory comments at a time when a small country like Ireland is going through a lot of difficulties, and there will be other days. But I wish them well with Poland and the UK and other countries who uh, will deal with those issues as they arise. One of the colleagues said that the coordinators had signed uh, a motion about corporation tax. Commissioner, the coordinators have done no such thing. The coordinator of the Christian Democrat group informed the EPP members last Thursday when I raised it that he had signed this on a personal basis. There has been no discussion within the European People's Party on this matter. And I understand there is also great upset within other groups about the way that this was done. We are not going to be pushed anywhere by coordinators. Coordinators in this group have one vote just like any other member. Please be very clear about that because there's a lot of things happening here that shouldn't be happening and it's causing great upset within the various groups. The, 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 the community way is discussion, disquisition uh, and, uh, uh, and arriving at agreement uh, and that's the, way, the only way we can progress. And I, I think there's a lot of support comes from former Commissioner Monty for some of the comments you made earlier. I wasn't present for them but I was able to um, monitor them. I just want to say one thing. A lot of independent opinion indicates that if some of the colleagues want to follow the line they're suggesting they, they prescribe for Ireland, then a lot of the foreign direct investment that comes into Ireland, which is mainly American, will not come to the European Union. It will go to Switzerland uh, and outside of the European Union. So let's be a little bit more careful about what we say about these things. If somebody wants an IGC uh, to change the treaties, which will include the national parliaments and governments whose remit this is, incidentally, not ours, then so be it. Let's have that IGC and see can we bring about these treaties. But in the meantime, we have to recognise the really difficult job you have. And you have a very difficult job, Commissioner. There's no easy solution to what has been proposed. Should we put corporation, uh, uh, capital gains tax and uh, acquisitions uh, tax on the agenda as well as corporation tax? You know, in my country, a lot of SMEs are not incorporated at all. They pay income tax. They don't pay corporation tax. So why not put income tax on the agenda as well if we're talking about taxation of business? This is a very delicate area that needs to be addressed very um, carefully. So uh, I think there's too much talk simply about um, corporation tax rate. A lot of it is, is ill-informed. A lot of it is nasty. Uh, uh, and a lot of it, uh, some of the people who are talking about what they are giving to the European Union should be careful that they're not reminded about what the European Union has given to them. I don't know when they started letting the clock run, but I find some of what they're saying really very difficult to take at a time when my country is going through so much suffering. And I'm sure there are a lot of colleagues around, because some of the people are saying to me privately that it's time to take the bull out of the china shop and maybe do this in a more f finessed way. Now, having said all of that, I want to come back to what the colleague said about the financial transaction tax. I do think this is an area that you could, with the member states, really try to advance. There is, I think, time. Uh, there is a time when um, new ideas are, are worthy of consideration. At this time, when the international uh, financial markets have done so much to bring um, pain to countries, and incidentally, I'll just say this in passing, if I may, Chairperson, you know, up until now, my country has been regulated by the private sector, by credit rating agencies and the markets, the so-called independent credit rating agencies, who got very significant fees for rating. Uh, companies on structured finance where they had a vested interest in, in, in those things. They have been regulating the public sector until now. At least now the public sector is regulating the public sector. I welcome that much. But I do think it's time to give some more active consideration to the financial transaction tax. And I would ask you 